The Bull Mastiff dog breed was developed by crossing the English Bulldog with an English Mastiff. As a result, a strong, muscular and noble dog was born. Are you interested in knowing more? In this new animalized video, we tell you everything you need to know. The history of the Bull Mastiff begins in Britain at the end of the 19th century. At this time, rangers used bulldog or mastiff dogs to protect themselves from poachers and other criminals. However, they wanted to develop a more effective dog with specific attributes for the purpose. From crossing these two dogs, a stealthy and strong breed with an excellent nose was born. In fact, their mere presence was enough to keep criminals at bay. Its popularity spread and became commonplace on farms and estates across Britain. The Bull Mastiff is a large and imposing dog with a wide square head and a powerful symmetrical body. Males usually measure between 64 and 69 centimeters at the withers and reach a weight of around 50 to 59 kilos. Females are slightly smaller with a size between 61 and 66 centimeters at the withers and weighing between 41 and 50 kilos. They display a short coat which is hard and smooth to the touch and compact to the body. Their color is usually red, fawn or brindle. They also have a characteristic black mask on the face. Although the Bull Mastiff has been developed for generations as a guard dog and defense dog, they are actually a very affectionate and faithful animal. When properly socialized, they will be patient, tolerant and friendly with all kinds of people, dogs and other animals although their size can be a lot to handle. In their puppy stages we can see a cheerful, fun and playful dog. When they age, their temper relaxes and they become a calm and kind individual. In any case, we also talk about a very protective dog with their family, so we should never encourage aggressive behaviour towards strangers. Bull Mastiff education should begin promptly when they are still a puppy. They must remain with their mother until approximately two and a half months. They then should socialize with other dogs, people, environments and animals. It is essential to offer varied positive experiences. For this we can go to puppy classes. Once they've been vaccinated, they can go out to the street where you teach them to walk, urinate outdoors and interact with others. An important aspect is to practice basic obedience commands, fundamental for good communication between dog and human, but also for the safety of both. It may be advisable to go to a dog training center which works positively. Bull Mastiff is considered a potentially dangerous dog breed in certain countries such as Spain, so it's important to procure the relevant license and appropriate civil liability insurance. The Bull Mastiff will need between two and four daily walks depending on its age and needs. Moderate sessions of physical exercise or games need to be included. We also need to offer a quality diet, and due to their sensitive skin, we need to guarantee a comfortable padded and wide bed so they can rest. Their coat does not demand too much care. It's enough to perform weekly brushing with a rubber brush and a bath every two to three months, depending on how dirty they get. Finally, we must never forget these dogs will greatly enjoy exercise and mental stimulation with toys, although they need to be adapted to their size. Bull masters frequently develop hip dysplasia and entropion affecting the eyes. Less often they may experience ataxia Walvers syndrome, elbow dysplasia, or retinal dysplasia. This is why frequent veterinary checkups every 6 to 12 months are recommended. A proper vaccination schedule and both internal and external deworming are also needed. With all of this, their life expectancy should be around 8 to 10 years. What do you like about this breed? Would you adopt a bull mastiff? Leave us your comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with everything we share. See you next time.